to be following the directions for sprouting lentils that I found on a website that I have linked in the video description of this video. So do check out that website. Um, you can sprout lentils at home a number of ways. I'm showing you how to do it in a jar. That's just a recycled jar. It used to have honey in it. And this is one third of a cup of dried lentils. Uh, you can, of course, do more lentils than what I'm doing, but uh, my jar is pretty small. It only holds about two cups. So I'm only doing one third of a cup of lentils because they will expand when they sprout. So your very first step of sprouting lentils in a jar is to give them a nice 24-hour soak in water. And uh, the directions on the site that I'm going to link say to change the water and rinse them every single eight hours. And it's a total uh, three-day process start to finish. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest, I did not change that water every single eight hours and it, it worked out just fine. So don't worry, like if you can't change the water every eight hours, try to change it like every eight to 16 hours. But anyway, the most important thing here is to just make sure that your lentils are completely submerged in water for 24 hours. And this is after about 12 hours. It's all fizzy. <laughs> Giving him a rinse. I don't know how well you can see it, but the lentils have um, expanded a little bit and they're, they've softened a little bit as well. And I'm just filling them up again with more fresh water and letting them finish that initial soak. So this is after 24 hours of soaking. I think it's a little clearer now uh, that the lentils have taken on some of that water and that they are bigger. Um, and at this point, they're, they're softer too, and you could pretty much eat them already, like just after 24 hours, but I'm not going to, I'm going to sprout them. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm emptying the jar of most of the water, but of course there's going to be a little water left in there, and I'm turning it at an angle like this in a bowl so that the excess water can drain out, and this helps uh, the lentils sprout better. Uh, it's been about 12 hours and I'm giving them a drain, fill them up with more water, drain them again, <laughs> and I'm going to put them back in the jar and back upside down. And as you can see, the skin at this point comes off pretty easily, and I don't know how well you can see this, but there is a little teeny tiny sprout happening right there. And they're soft enough, I can split it in half with my fingernail, and I could totally eat it. I did actually eat this off camera, and it's pretty pleasant. It tastes kind of like a green pea. And see? Sprouts! We have sprouts! This is after 48 hours. You got these little tiny cute sprouts. They're not quite ready to harvest yet. I mean, you could totally eat them at this point as well but I'm going to sprout them more. So more soaking, more changing of the water, more turning the jar upside down in a bowl. And after three days, this is what you got. Isn't that so cool? This is a fresh vegetable that you can have at any time. Like you can keep these dried lentils in your pantry for years and at any time just add water for a few days and you have a fresh vegetable. Anyway, they're they're delicious. They're crispy. Uh, they taste sort of like a cross between a mung bean sprout and a fresh green pea. And um, you can snack on them or you can put them in salads or sandwiches or stir fries, uh, just about anything. So I hope you give it a try, especially if you don't like uh, legumes like me. <laughs>